Farm Zero C is an SFI funded project with the objective of creating an economically viable climate neutral dairy farm. The project is originally based here on Schnock Estates, which is a commercial demonstration farm originally set up as part of the Carberry Chagas joint programme in conjunction with the four West Cork co-ops. We have a specific work package on the project led by Fanula Murphy in UCD looking at life cycle analysis. So this is a methodology used to calculate our carbon footprint. So we're looking at IoT sensors to increase the accuracy of the data being fed into this model. So the more accurate the data we put into this model, the more accurate the result we're looking at. We've seen a significant reduction in the carbon footprint since the project began. So our most recent figure is 0.66 kg of CO2 equivalent or kg of fat and protein corrected milk. The main reasons we've seen this reduction is the low hanging fruit, so what we've implemented in the farm, such as a reduction of, of feed and fertilizer, um, clover, multi-species, low emission slurry spreading, and EBI. Some of these technologies has, have also helped us reduce our ammonia emissions by 28%. Yeah, I suppose we were spreading 250 kilos of nitrogen per hectare on this farm. We're down to about 147 now. We probably have 50% of the farm and sufficient clover. Another 30% of the farm is getting there and there's probably 20% that needs a lot more work. We have uh, maybe between 16 and 18% of the farm in multi-species swards at the moment. We have some swards that are four years in and are very happy with it. 30% of our silage swards with uh, full red clover. We have another 30% that was sown in last year. The red clover is growing probably between 13 and 15 ton. Um, it's getting zero chemical in, so we're spreading some pea on that and it's mostly grown from slurry. We're using 95% of our fertilizer that is spread on the farm is coming in protected urea farm. We're using the uh, low emission slurry spreading with the last seven or eight years and finding great results from that. So we have an EBI of 245 on the farm, probably in the top one or two percent of the, of the national herd. Breeding all our replacements from uh, sex semen, sex jersey or sex frisian from our highest EBI cows, more uh, higher production cows. So uh, we're using Dairy Beef Index bulls from day one, and we stay going with that for the 11 and a half weeks. We were looking at our carbon footprint. Methane from enteric fermentation is the biggest contributor and makes up about two thirds of the overall carbon footprint. So we have a specific work package dedicated to this, led by Lawrence Chalou and Chagas Moor Park, with the objective of finding a methane reducing feed additive that works in the grazing system. So we know these products work in a TMR system. Some products are even showing a 25 to 30 percent reduction. The key challenge is how do we get this into a grass-based system? We've seen positive results from the trials in Moor Park, but more research is needed to increase the efficacy of these products, such as slow release technology. We are also working with a company called Glassport Bio, who've developed a slurry amendment which reduces methane from stored slurry. So we've added this to the main cow tank in Schnock over the last two winter periods, where we've seen a reduction of 80 percent of methane from stored slurry. So work package 4 in the project, led by James Gaffey and MTU, is looking at grass boy refinery and renewables. So when we're looking at renewables, it's not a major part of the carbon footprint, roughly about 4%, but it's still an area that we need to focus on. So our first step was to reduce overall energy consumption on the farm. So we looked at installing energy efficient equipment. So we installed solar on the roof of the milking parlour and then coupled that with battery storage. We have a wind turbine on the farm since 2011. So we expect that to be generating roughly 17 to 18,000 kilowatt hours over the course of, of, of a 12 month period. Over the past few months, um, we've seen roughly a 50% reduction in energy usage on the farm here. As part of Farm Zero C, we've completed a successful trial looking at a 50% replacement of soya in pig diets. We're delighted to receive funding also from the Department of Agriculture to construct a pilot AD grass biorefinery unit here in the farm in Schnock, which will allow us to expand the technology further. So Work Package 2 covers biodiversity, which is led by Professor Jane Stout in Trinity College Dublin. Biodiversity is a very important part of the project. We want to show that we can run a profitable, productive dairy farm while maintaining a high level of biodiversity. Our goal is to have 10% biodiverse cover across the farm. Um, at the start of the project, we had about 7.5% and now we're up to 8.64. And we've done this by extending and adding new habitats. We're looking at options to get to the 10% goal, including converting a Sitka plantation to native forestry. So our postdoc from Trinity College Dublin, Kean White, has developed a mapping tool using satellite imagery to detect habitats across the farm and show us possible areas of improvement. So we're using natural capital accounting to quantify the nature value of the farm. All habitats will have different values for nature. So because of the nature of farming, there's always going to be some emissions we can't reduce fully to zero. So we use carbon sequestration as a method of displacing those emissions. 
We measure our soils every year. We also have a carbon flux tower um, and this measures the carbon dioxide fluxes from the atmosphere. So we're hoping in a few years uh, we can quantify exactly how much carbon our soils are storing. So stakeholder engagement is a key part of the project. So we're very lucky to have the Farms that Receive building or the Visitor Hub behind me, which was opened last year, which helps us display what's happening in the project. We also disseminate the learnings on the farm here as well. We don't want to achieve climate neutrality and reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible here. We want other farmers to do that as well. So we're working very, very closely with John McNamara and the Carberry Chagas um, monitor farmers as well. So the, the monitor farmers associated with Farm Zero Seed, there's 10 of them. They're geographically spread right across the Carberry area in West Cork. They're the early adopters of technology that has been tried in, on Farm Zero Seed in the first place. Because farmers will take it off of local farmers more likely than here than scientists. To me, they're essential. We're lucky to be working with some fantastic partners here in the Farm Zero Seed project. We've made a lot of progress to date, but we've more work to do to achieve our goals of climate neutrality here in Schnock Farm. Thank you.